The following feature has been rated F for family entertainment. Hello Nostalgia Seekers, and welcome to TMP Cyberlink Studios. Today, I'll give you guys yet another update on video game predictions, getting ready to face numerous challenges of the all-new PlayStation 5 by 2022. Before we begin, I would like to present the following existed game titles that are yet to be completed. Of course, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy game still remains, because I don't have a PS5 yet. As tested by other PlayStation users, it was nice enough that it could also have backwards compatibility with PS4 games. Unfortunately, the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run will not be released as a video game title for consoles. However, THQ Nordic and Purple Lamp Studios have recently announced that their alternative title, SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake, was planned to be released by around 2022. Which leads me to the area where I saved the previous game title with information about which consoles, publishers, developers, and years made into my memorable archive, along with other titles under observation. They would have been rare treasures around the listed years and brought me pure happiness and nostalgia. However, some titles may be coming to the new era for consoles, with enhanced slash colorful graphics, improved nostalgic music scores, and superb gameplay. In addition, I wish there is a video game publisher that not only have those kinds of next level features, but also keep some originalities within their themes, have necessary voice actors for their respective characters, and add bonus content, including replayable cutscenes, art gallery, movie parts cut for the best of each character and scene, and much more to relive the happiness and nostalgia forever. These valuable descriptions are required for all video games under my speculations, Except for one. Number 15. Spyro 4. Activision had already confirmed that the fourth Spyro game title is in development. We are uncertain of when it is going to be produced. The lead development is also under speculation. I vote for b -Nox. Because Toys R Bob was busy working on other projects other than Spyro, 
Normally, I am not a huge fan of video games that have an exploding number of popularity. However, with Spyro, I feel different. The vibrance of colors and reasonable challenges within the franchise feel like hidden treasures waiting to be collected. Plus, the difficulty in almost every Spyro game seemed more to please than the painful Crash Bandicoot ones. Though I would expect the fourth one to be a little bit harder, with new challenges and more interesting surprises, fitting for at most a 90s gamer, just to be safe. The rest of the video game titles under my speculation are yet to be confirmed. However, I have faith that they would come to reality within the following time period and be polished by the company that I described earlier. Furthermore, I hope it could also work together with other movie-slash-TV companies and developers that I think would fit best. Now, to be honest, it is really hard for me to choose other developers that I don't know about, because some smaller companies tend to have less voice talent or prone to glitches galore. Bigger ones are too busy working on other projects that go outside my main interest. Of course, I have no choice but to stick with two developers that I think matches closely with my visionaries of the speculated game titles. Behavior Interactive, based in Montreal, Canada, is currently popular for the Dead by Daylight series. However, when I looked at the previous game titles that are more family-oriented than those, I can easily see that some cartoon characters within their respective themes have a crazy amount of behaviors acted out while in cutscenes and playing the game. In addition, the music scores had shown a bit of a character and plenty of nostalgia to keep me entertained at certain points. I would expect Behavior to make more family-oriented game titles, and hopefully make the ones I came up on my list. Video games filled with tons of nostalgic elements, including a variety of music scores, voice talent, sound effects, and superb family gameplay are reasons why I buy physical copies of them. Taurus Games goes above and beyond when I play the selected titles from their library. I have not seen any more video game titles in their works ever since the last one in 2020. It is due to the fact that the Macintosh family wants to hire more mites who could do the following selection of three positions. Project Manager slash Producer, Senior Programmer, and Programmer. Visit this site for more information. Once positions are covered, Taurus will be on its way of making more video game titles, as well as my hope for the listed speculated ones. So, with that all said, let's resume the predictions of the other 14 titles ranked from least to most anticipated for the near future of my collection. Are you ready? Number 14. Garfield. When I think about Garfield, it is about his wacky shenanigans over every single thing within his daily routines like kicking Odie off the table, eating so much food including lasagna, and many more that comes to his mind. I am sure that those routines would change when he is about to set off to an adventure to rescue his friends from being adopted to random worlds throughout different time periods. The gameplay would be similar to Crash Bandicoot's, it's just going to be as easy as Donald Duck going quackers on N64. Furthermore, unlockable bonus minigames with Garfield, Odie, Arlene, and Nermal would seem like a blast with tons of behaviors to laugh about. Number 13, Matilda and the Magical World of Raul Dahl. 
Matilda and her power of telekinesis have saved the school from the evil Trunchbull. But what if she could use this power to have an adventure and rescue familiar characters from other Raw Doll book worlds? These include the ones from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, the BFG, and many more. They could even be unlocked in minigame mode, up to four players to see who could show the most fame. With music nostalgia galore, including Matilda's solo adventure. Number 12. The Borrowers. I have fond memories with the 1997 movie adaptation, with this story by Mary Norton. As a video game title, it would most likely follow through the story's plot by using the borrower's platforming and stealth skills with additional QTEs to rev up the suspense, and bonus collectibles to borrow in order to unveil secret wonders. The gameplay may be a bit harder than Matilda's, but trust me, you are not alone. Optional two-player co-op could provide a little help with each other's puzzles. Everything else throughout the game would feel like going back in the 90s as far as the music and enormous environments are concerned. Number 11. The Wild Thornberries. There are animal species galore around the globe, and it's up to Eliza, Darwin, and Donnie to rescue them from menacing poachers, take pictures of various rare species, and collect special artifacts to unlock fun minigames at the Historical Museum. Up to three players could either help each other solve various mazes and other tasks, or be competitive in minigame mode while being entertained with each character's behaviors, especially other animals. Number 10. Rugrats. Ah yes, the good old 90s Nicktoon. Just think about a brand new video game title while going back in time with your favorite Rugrat while platforming numerous imaginative environments, solving puzzles to unlock amazing discoveries, and have hilarious laughs with familiar voice talent and competitively challenging minigames. To add more fun and excitement, up to four players could join to either help each Rograd progress through many mind-blowing levels, or have an amazing party in minigame mode. 